hello everyone today uh, we will see how to uh, buy variable and multi variable cox regression analysis so uh, we will see first how to buy variable cox regression analysis and multi variable cox regression analysis how to perform it then we will see uh, how to uh, cox proportional hazard assumption will be made uh, by using screen field visual tests and uh, graphically so uh, we will see this one so now uh, we will uh, open uh, the data sets of the starter so this is example data sets and now we can use the cancer data so uh, this is our data so let me introduce the data this is uh, study time or duration uh, this is uh, an event one is died zero is not died uh, or censored drug is dependent variable uh, having three types of drugs uh, i mean uh, oh yeah three types so z one one is placebo uh, two is uh, treatment three is also another treatment age is independent variable sequence variable and this is uh, stated uh, survival analysis so you can also uh, see drug so drug uh, is one to three one is a placebo placebo two and three is different types of treatments and uh, and the other is uh, age age is a continuous variable and uh, died is uh, event event but so zero and one one is died one if the patient is died so this one so mostly uh, you cannot get in your data set like std and t and t not this one so to set this uh, variable before doing uh, uh, by variable and multi variable cox regression analysis you have to set this uh, data set otherwise your command did not uh, will not work so you can uh, uh, see set turn to set 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 and uh, you can give uh, duration study time and also uh, comma failure comma failure and open brackets then you can your events this is an event so you can yeah after setting this then you can uh, you can you can do or you can apply any commands in survival analysis it, it will work so this is uh, study time so now we can make by variable uh, by variable uh, cox irrigation analysis so um, to do by variable cox irrigation analysis you, you can use the command sct cox sct cox so uh, then uh, then you can insert uh, this drug depend independent variable the drug is independent variable so the dependent variables already set on this uh, st cox so drug is independent variable so you can do just like this so drug is 0 0.25 but to understand uh, which drug drug one drug two or drug three you can use an indicator an indicator so an i is an indicator so doing just like this so th yeah this is uh, considered as the by variable cox irrigation analysis because uh, it's between the survival time and the drug so the one placebo is uh, it's constant since it's the first variable so it's constant so now two is the treatment one and three is treatment two so after this uh, this is by variable cox irrigation analysis this is hazard ratio and this is its confidence interval this p value so it's significant because it's less than 0 0.05 so now uh, you can take a uh, crude uh, crude hazard ratio as 0 0.23 and 0 0.7 so uh, maybe uh, this is uh, to interpret this one so you can uh, interpret uh, um, so the hazard of this uh, is decreased by uh, is decreased by uh, 23 1 minus 0 0.3 it is uh, 77 so the hazard of this is decreased by uh, decreased by 77 
percent in drug to uh, individuals who take in drug to uh, at any given time at any given time uh, so at any given time as compared to their counterparts or as compared to individuals who take placebo placebo so uh, uh, so we can say we can interpret just like this or we can say uh, individuals with drug one are uh, we can say 77 percent less uh, less likely to die at any given time uh, that of individual who take placebo or we can interpret it just like this so this one is 0 0.7 so 1 minus 0 0.07 is uh, 93 so the hazard of this is uh, decreased by 93 percent in, in individuals who take drug 3 uh, at any given time as compared to their uh, as compared to their counterparts their counterparts so uh, this one is uh, by variable so if you want to, to change uh, by another way you can say you can use a b uh, you can use uh, a b last so it will use the set it will use the set uh, treatment as constant so one into two is as variable so you can change also by just like this now the best thing is uh, making uh, now we have done and interpret the uh, by variable uh, cox irrigation analysis so the other one is that multivariable cox irrigation analysis so multivariable cox irrigation analysis to say multivariable independent variables should be more than two to end more than two so, so sct cox i drug is one variable the other is h uh, we, since we have two independent variables like drug and h we can use h so this is yeah this is the uh, number of subjects number of failures 31 time at risk is 744 this is look like you uh, look like you is minus seven uh, minus 81 so this is minus 81 so uh, it takes the last uh, iteration it takes the last iteration uh, from minus minus 1999 to minus 81 so it takes the last iteration so number of observation is 48 probability is significant and uh, log li so log like oh, uh, the chi square is 36.52 so this is our analysis so this is time so hazard ratio is this so standard error so this is significant or oh, both variables are age is significant and also this variables also significant two categories also significant so this is confidence interval so this is now adjusted hazard ratio that's why because uh, two variables so it's multi-variable look multi-variable cox regression analysis because it's two so uh, you can add more than two variables like 30 20 or 10 variables so but in this way the same thing is hap um, happened this is 18 18 means uh, 82 so uh, the hazard of this is decreased by uh, 82 percent uh, in those individuals who take uh, drug to as compared uh, at any given time as compared to uh, who take uh, placebo or their counterparts and uh, 0 0.05 so the hazard of this is decreased by uh, 95 percent in drug and in, in individuals who take drugs drug three so as compared to their uh, counterparts so you can interpret in this way h uh, so in the case of age it is uh, positive so since hazard ratio is greater than one it is uh, weak so as age increases as it increases the hazard of this will increases by 1.12 1.12 times so so age increase means will uh, provide for uh, with quickly this or uh, more likely today's so this is uh, positively this is uh, negatively affects the hazard the hazard of this the hazard of this so this is multivariable cox irrigation analysis now we can see uh, 
we can see how Cox proportional uh, pro how, how to test uh, proportional hazard assumption both statistically and graphically by uh, using statistically by using uh, uh, by we can do by using uh, uh, start pH test so this is a start pH test this is statistically so after after you are after uh, you run uh, multivariable cox segregation analysis you can write a start pH test so test of proportional hazard assumption this is global test this is chi square so this is um, chi square probability so our finding is 0 0.7994 so this 0 0.7 is greater than 0 0.05 so if if it is less than 0 0.05 our assumption will be violated but uh, uh, since 0 0.79 is greater than 0 0.05 uh, proportional hazard assumption is uh, adequate so or kept it is not violated so uh, all proportional assumption are fit, uh, made so you can do by this way so if your finding is greater than 0 0.05 so uh, proportional hazard assumption is fitted but below 0 0.05 proportional assumption is violated so uh, by using graphically you can also uh, by the way I, uh, to, if you want to cox uh, any residuals you can use predict So you can by doing this you can yeah this is coxenil residuals coxenil residuals it's important for to see goodness of the test we will see on another video so you can make by this way and as I told you uh, to make graphically uh, to make uh, graphically cox proportional hazard assumption you can do by writing SCT survival time pH plot comma strata strata you can you can insert a uh, drag and uh, adjust adjust for another variable you can adjust for your another variable but we don't have uh, another categorical variable so we can insert age so we are uh, adju by adjusting age we will see the start of drug so age then can write zero x label yes so now yeah this is cox proportional hazard assumption by using graphically so this is uh, uh, this is lines so now it is makes zigzag in this sense but uh, in real time so if you are uh, if this lines uh, moving forward moving and this downward and if it is are parallel if it is a parallel so proportional that the assumption is fitted so there is no crossed each line on this way so it should be parallel there should be parallel so uh, so you can make um, cox proportional hazard graphically in this way so uh, you can after cox, after uh, uh, cox irrigation analysis uh, you can use by using uh, statistically this one uh, global test uh, you can use this one so or you can use uh, 
you can use uh, the graphical method this one okay now so this is adjusted so the adjustment is maybe vary from variable to variable so it seems like just a click so now uh, in this course we have seen uh, how to set survival data and how to make uh, uh, by variable uh, cox segregation analysis and how to make uh, multivariate cox segregation analysis and uh, then how to test uh, cox proportional hazard assumption by statistically by using global test and graphically so this is uh, all about uh, today's uh, topic or analysis so uh, to get the next analysis or the next topic and uh, the next videos uh, don't forget to subscribe comment and like this channel so have a nice time uh, bye bye